Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey. In the last episode, we completed the Cascade Kingdom 100%. We never have to go there ever again, I believe. Hold on. How do I... There we go. Yeah, we have all 40 moons and all 50 coins, so we are completely done with that. And in this episode, we're going to complete this kingdom as well, because I got some hints as to where these, uh, these extra coins were. A lot of people said they were in the, uh, the little secret area over there at the very beginning above where you start. Uh, I did in fact get those because I thought there was gonna be a moon up there. No, uh, someone pointed out that it was uh, down here and you are completely correct. So that completes all the coins of this area, which means we can finally buy all the stuff at the shop. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we don't have to come back here. So we have the Boniston Tower model and that's it. <laughs> okay, we're done. Yep, that was it. That was 25 coins by itself. Also, a lot of people pointed out that the compass actually shows your hints. I honestly, I forget there is ever a compass because it's never useful other than I guess. Now I know for hints. It shows an X on the compass. So didn't actually know that. Wasn't aware. So I keep going into like the map when I don't need to. Now that I know that I don't have to, it's going to make this a lot more streamlined, a lot better. Anyway... We're gonna set sail again. We only need four more star, four more moons until the uh, next thing. So we've completed these two. I mean, we have a we have a hint in the Cap Kingdom, but that's for later. Now we have the Sand Kingdom, which we have to complete. This one's probably going to be split up into two episodes since it's so huge. We probably have thousands of moons we have to get. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if if it breaks a hundred. I'm kind of expecting like ninety to ninety five. But 100 wouldn't be completely out of the question here. Why is it showing that? Does it always do like a little thing like that? Interesting. Hmm? The moon rock here is glowing too. Let's be sure to check that. Yeah, of course. Uh, a lot of people actually said that I should try doing the hints from Takatu first before doing the amiibo, and I kind of agree. Having an actual hint first and then. If I can't figure it out, do the amiibo. Because, I mean, in that case, I don't have to use the amiibo first off. And it kind of makes it a little easier to follow for people who don't have, like, a... Uh... Do I just have to hit it? Okay, I do. It makes it a little easier to follow for people who don't have tons of an amiibo. Because it's like, oh, he did it without amiibo, kind of. So, understandable. I'll, I'll try that out for sure. Boom. I just, I skipped the last one, but I wanted to see what it looked like exploding in different skies, I guess. I skipped the Cascade Kingdom one. I, I kind of regretted it. Oh, yeesh. That's not too many, actually. That's going to bring us up to... 89. Wow. Uh, I was incorrect. I thought it was going to be between 90 and... Oh! A lot of new people. Look at these guys. What's going on? Why can't we come inside? Oh yeah, there's this. So eventually we are going to have to... Uh... There's a pipe right over here, so that's where we're going to go to first. Eventually we will have to slip into some nicer gear. I also have to remember that I need to go down into the the secret area that had the boss to get extra four extra coins, because I missed those down there when I ditched the Goombas too soon. Alright, so it's going to be one of these then. Oh, okay. Also, there's a thing down there. What? That's got to be, like, the secret. The secret moon. Hold on. Can I, like, just fall down there? Yeah. Just so I can keep this guy. Yep. Oh, that's the secret moon. Okay. I figured it'd be, like, the actual moon. Guess not. Cool. So this is going to be our first... How many do we have to get here, actually? Oh, wow. We have way less than half, actually. Oh, that's going to take a while. That's fine. We have time. And get it. So that's one. Jump up to the transparent lift. Huh. That one would be easy to miss if I wasn't quite paying attention there. I should have taken him off to sprint. Oh, look at that. Oh, this entire thing's moving. Okay. 
Oh, the, the one we're on is actually still visible. Cool. That makes it a little easier then. I also want to make sure I'm grabbing as many coins as I can at this point because we actually have quite a few to still get. Yeesh, getting a little hectic. Oh! I thought I was far enough on the side. Cool. This is actually a very interesting mechanic for a character, I'm realizing. Or, like, a, a capture. It's really cool. Okay, also, this is black. I don't think any of the others have been black. They've been, like, gray. Maybe all the exit pipes are black. I don't know. Anyway, that takes care of that. Um, Let's check out here. Finally, there's going to be some moons out here. Before, I was like, oh, there's, like, nothing here. So that makes at least a little more sense. Also, there's no music out here. Well, you know we gotta fix that. At least we have something playing. That's fine. Alright. So what do we have down here? Okay, we have a note block. Cool. We're also missing a capture. Should I be moving faster? Oh, I should. I think I should be on Jaxi, because that wasn't even close. Okay. Cool, and uh, there was another one right over here. It's this bunny. So you have to catch the right one. I just, I don't know where they're going to be, like, running to in advance. So it's, like, hard to tell how to cut them off. Do they just keep running in a direction? Do they not have, like, an end? their path. Oh, guess they do. Dude. This guy's evasive. What? Oh, I could have gotten him. And I can't really... Uh. Dude! Oh my god. There we go. Eesh. So I wonder what the rest of them give us. Because there's uh, there's no other things here. Uh, there's the Koopa Free Running. Or no, that's the Trace Walking. Wait, is there like a Master Trace Walking thing? That's interesting. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab Jaxi. He'll be good just to get around in general. So that'll be convenient. Hello? Call for the Jaxi, sure thing. I think it costs like 30 coin. Wait, did it even... Did it charge us anything? Oh, whoops. Accidentally destroyed a toad. Alright, so where were... Oh yeah, there's a thing right over here. Alright. So we need to like line this up like... Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Alright, <laughs> that's a reset. Huh. Didn't think about how hard this would be. Ugh. I just wish you could, like, break and also turn the camera at the same time. Oh my god. Like, otherwise it's easy. Yeesh. Alright. Let's get a wide turn. It's, like, impossible to get a wide enough turn, though. You know? Like, go completely over here, but then you have to turn the camera around. It's just weird. Oh! And he automatically stops his break if you hold it too long. It's just a lot, you know? Oh, I'm going off. Oh my goodness. Okay. No! Oh my god! This is just difficult. <laughs> like, I'm sure at like, some point I could just hop off Jaxi and try to do it, so I don't know. Oh my god. How did I, like, perfectly do all the Jaxi stuff up to this? But, like, it's just a straight shot thing that I'm messing up. It's just hard to aim. Oh, here we go. Oh. There we go. Jeez, that took a lot of effort. Surprisingly. Cool. Taking notes, running down. All right. 
what else do we have? We could do the trace walking again. We found 500 power moons. Finally, we can head to the darker side of the moon. There's another moon just chilling here. What? Okay. That wasn't one of the new ones, was it? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, we have this up here, I guess. Surely we can, like, get to this normally. Yeah, that's not too hard. Oh. We need to, like, run into it with, like, a, a bullet bill, I think. Somehow. Yeah, there's another pipe over there. Um, I'm gonna wait to take the pipe until I get, like, the rest of these. Uh, there's one way over here, so we'll go for that. It actually just makes this all so convenient. Wait, what, did, what are these two? Gracious, did, is this desert version of the lake? Interesting take on it, I guess. Oh, there's a hole here. Hold on, that wasn't there before. Nope, not going in me. In there. Okay, let's do it. Whatever. Watch it just kill you. Uh, oh, this goes straight to the boss arena. Why, though? Is this something special in this pipe or nah? Yeah, that just goes back to the top. All right, not sure about that. That's just weird. We have another... Is this another one of the same things? Oh, that's a little higher. I think we have to get on, like, the, the wire for that. Uh, there's bunches of of moons over here, so we'll grab some over here. Jeez, it's just this level so huge. It's this is gonna be a completely different beast to tackle than the rest of the kingdoms. Who put up these posters? They're an eyesore littering up the place. Uh, so then he probably, yeah, he wants us to get rid of all the posters. I figured there'd be something like this eventually. Like, I was surprised it wasn't sooner. Look at that. Hold on. Boom. Then maybe... Boom. Oh, it's all around this thing, isn't it? Can I jump on this cactus? I sure can. Nope, please get that. Also, haven't mentioned it, Mario's looking spiffy in his new duds. Oh, come on, I... Completely avoided all of those. There we go. Maybe if I could, like... Oh, come on. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, that's a moon. I thought it was going to go on top. I was going to be like, no. Not hap... Can I please? Thank you. Poster cleanup. All right. There's supposedly more moons out here. Uh, one on the other side. Is it in this little secret? Hold on. Did we ever get both of the secrets in this thing? Also, is this where the... This is Koopa Free running. Okay. You know what? Let's do it. The roving racers know how it works. Let's do it. That's the spirit. Rules are simple. Race, 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 race. People said apparently... These Koopas can do everything you can do, and I never thought about it. Their shells could literally act as, like, our hat. Also, wow. All right. Oh, please jump on him. Oh, yeah, they just go into their shell. Yeah, so this is actually going to be... Uh, Probably a pretty close one, since, you know, it's literally just follow the path. Just make these tight turns, and then you're good. Are we in second? I was about to say, he was in front of us. Oh, it's on top of the building. Or no, it's not. Oh, it's right there. Cool. That's an odd one. How could you perform better on that? Huh. It's also 37 seconds. That I feel like that's the worst time I've ever gotten. 
I just, that was so unoptimized, I had problems getting onto the thing. I just don't know how they could, I don't know. It's like the skill, the skill ceiling here is pretty low, I'm thinking. It's just confusing, you know. Alright, Sand Kingdom Master Cup. Let's do it. Interesting, interesting to see what this Golden Koopa will do. Alright, we're on him. We got on him first, so... We should be at an advantage as long as we do, like, a straight shot for the... The corner here. Right? It's like, geez, this is all the way across the kingdom. <laughs> like, who's in front of us? How is someone possibly in front of us at that point? There's nothing. There it is. I mean, that's a better time, but it's like... I don't feel like I did great. It's just like, because all you're doing is running in a straight line for most of it. That's just a weird one. They could have done, like, a path through, like, the... It would have been much more interesting if what the race course was was a um, race from the bottom of the ruins, like, say, here to here, you know? That would have been much more interesting. Anyway, let's check out the uh, Desert Oasis, see what's new there. And I also, I wonder where Peach is. Peach isn't on that thing. It's a cookie boy. Some cookie boys, what are they doing? Behold, the source of seafood. Yeah. I mean, you're correct. Where is this thing? Oh, it's above. I'm not sure if there's anything quite new here then. Because I think we got all of the... The moons that were around here. Is there someone over here? Oh, that's Jaxi. He automatically came over here. So what's going on? Travel tip, cap... Oh, that's not important. It's on this tree, or something. It says it's, like, right here. It must be on, like, the top of the tree right there. Oh. Okay. Mighty leap from the palm tree. Yeah, you could say it's something like that. Oh, that's right! There's that bird there. We need to grab him. Okay, what's his path? Is he flying around the oasis? Yes, he is. Oh, we've already gotten this one. There was one that we hadn't gotten, I thought. One of the uh, eagles. All right, next business. Uh, hold on, I do want to check if we got both of the moons in this little secret area over here. And I wonder what the extent of the secrets he'll tell us are. Also, whoa, I'm chilling in the shade. That's great, wonderful. Still makes it like 90 degrees, I'm sure. Yeah, we got both of them here. Yeah, nothing left to do here. Good. I'll take that. Um, is there a way to get up without, like, going through that whole thing? Uh. Oh. We're gonna try. Come on. Alright, that's some... Some progress. Can we get onto, like, this corner here? No? Really? Really? Ugh, that sucks. Oh no, we could just do this. Hold on. Yeah, it's simple. Uh, we already did that. Let's take this, because I believe... There's a moon- yeah, there's a moon literally, like, right there. Boom. Cool! Simple enough. On the north pillar. Uh, is there one back on top of this? Doesn't look like it. Uh, but that will just be a quick way to get around, so let's do it. Not even close. Cool. Whatever. Whatever works. Um, let's just go to Moai Habitat. I feel like there has to be some other moons that weren't, that we didn't just unlock that's still over here. Because we haven't gotten anything here since that first moon, you know? gotta be some other stuff at the very least 
Also, did we ever find all three of those seeds that were in this level? Or did we only find two of them? Because I do not recall. Also, those don't give you extra coins. That sucks. Alright. And once again, we have to be on the lookout for, like, money. There's a P-switch there. Uh... Yeah, it's rumbling. Yep. That's simple. Visible gleam. Okay. <laughs> simple enough. What did this P-switch do? Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm not even gonna <laughs> bother going the rest of the path. Jeez. Sand Kingdom Timer Challenge 2. Okay, I think that's both of the timer challenges then. Uh, there's one way out there, right in the middle of that. Alright, if you say so. It's okay. We're slowly making our way through these. And I think at the end of this we'll probably... Oh yeah, that's right, we never used this guy for what he was supposed to do. I don't know if he was supposed to fly into that or... No, you know what? He's supposed to fly to that moon out there. Huh. That still makes me wonder, how do we break that one? That little block out there. Hmm. Just not sure. Oh well, let's go this way, because there's that moon there. No, wait, hold on. Wasn't there one, like... Yeah, there's one on the top of this tower. Or, like, on the north of this tower. Was that not there before? I think that's what it is. It's, uh... That. I'm assuming. I don't recall that being there. I think this was literally just a path to get up to the top. Also, this is a very nice 8-bit sprite. It almost looks wider than the rest of his. his Spritel gown isn't very becoming of the Mario. I'll take those, I guess. Can I get infinite? Yes. I'm literally going to take any any chance I can to get extra coins at this rate. Ooh, okay. Because we need them. Cool. Yeah, that's an extra moon right there. Uh, also, we're slowly... Also consider we're slowly getting all of these achievements for Toadette because there's like, get all the 8-bit moons, get all the, like, costume moons, you know, stuff like that. Can I not... Okay, I was wondering what it would look like if I warped out of a 8-bit area. Just weird. I don't know. Okay, now let's go get this moon that's out here. Once again, getting all the coins out on the way. Ugh. Sometimes, like, while I'm recording, I just think, wow, I love this game. Just out of nowhere, it's just a thought that comes to my mind. It's really so good. There's a few problems with the game. Very few. And like, the thing is, I don't really know 100% where we would go from here. Like a very, like very small touches that I would make to the game is like, have costumes affect your play style. Like maybe a certain kind of cap gives you like a high jump whenever you throw it and jump on it. Or like one costume gives you an extra hit point naturally. You know? It's like, things like that would be a very tiny detail, and really I couldn't think of anything that wasn't a tiny detail. That would be great. Also, that, does that not kill you when you touch it? I thought the sand killed you. Into the flowing sands. I guess I never tested it. Oh. Oh, it's just, it's just quicksand. Oh. I literally thought that entire area was just death if you attempted to do it. Interesting. Uh, so, does that mean we're going to have a moon with the viewfinder here? To look right at the sun. That is, like, that feels bright. It feels like it hurts me. I'm not finding anything. It could be, like, Maybe the taxi's driving on the dunes in the far out distance. Check that too. I mean, I'm just completely going on assumption that there's always going to be like a viewfinder moon. But it's been true in the last two areas, so 
I don't know, I just kind of assumed, I suppose. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Also, I have to wonder, do we actually have any Takatu moons? You're quite the catch, Tap Captain Toad. We still haven't found Captain Toad here, jeez. And this was back when I thought you could only do one Takatu moon at a time. Yeah, okay. Alright, yeah, we'll start talking to Takatu to get some more hints. I think how it works is once you do one of the Takatu moons, he'll give you new hints. That must be how it works. What? Okay. This is interesting. Oh, this is like that galaxy thing. Oh, boy. Okay. I only got one of them. Ugh. I want to go across this quick. Oh, there's a thing there. What now? No! I didn't know you had to go up. I didn't know where it ended. Whatever. Whatever. That wasn't too difficult, at least. Plus, it gives you a ton of coins on the way, so that's not bad. Alright, let's do this. I think grabbing three actually does give you a longer, a longer timer on this. That seems to be the case, at least. And if I throw it in a circle, it takes longer to actually get to me. Oh, there's not a thing at the bottom there. I don't know, I kind of assumed there was. Eggs on my face. That's okay, we're gonna get this. Not a problem at all. Oh, it's going down. I didn't even notice the thing was sinking this entire time. Whoops. Yeah, you see, I see that path on the bottom there. I'm like, oh. That's the that's the rest of the path. No. It is in fact not. Get the key, go back to the top. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to get all three. Maybe that's just to make it easier. Boom. Cool. Does that give us a path back? Yes. And there's our second moon. Simple as that. Sinking Colossal Ruins, hurry. Okay. Also, I wonder if it's got... Does Takatu include the moons that you have, uh, that you get from the thing? Ooh, yeah, that's right. There's another warp pipe up there. Um... There's that. I still... I'm not sure exactly how to get that. I think Takatu will include the moons that you have hints for here. Anyway... We're gonna go talk to him anyway. It's no skin off my back. That's for sure. So, I, I uh, this will also confirm, did we actually... Okay, yeah, we did find all the seeds, so we're not worried about those anymore. Just grab the 15 coins while I'm here. Alright, Takatu, give me the hints. Give me the meats. Uh, Sand Kingdom... Oh, there's three timer challenges. Okay. He always gives you hints for the easiest ones first, I notice. Under the Mummy's Curse. Interesting. I'm not sure how, where exactly that one would be. But, uh, whatever. I am gonna go over to the... Also, that reminds me... Ooh, my leg's asleep. That's what it reminds me of. Uh, album. We probably have a couple here that apply to Toasterina. This one's gotta be Metro Kingdom, right? Gotta be. This one's the moon. That's, uh, ruined. That's Lost Kingdom. Uh, that one's obvious. That one's obvious. This one is one that I'm not sure of. It almost looks like moon positions? Like M new moon, full moon? Uh, I have no idea what that's going to apply to. Did that one. In fact, I should delete the ones I've already done. So I don't start getting uh, mixed up on them. Okay. Whoa! That went back to O. I was like, it went back to the thing. Uh, that's Lost Kingdom, Lake Kingdom. People said that was the Metro Kingdom. Uh, that's also Lake Kingdom. People said I was on the opposite side. We can delete that. Cool. And that leaves only one that's actually here in the Sand Kingdom, and that would be this one. 
It shows the compass. So it's north of the free running Koopa is what they want us to go to. All right. That's simple enough. Uh, where was this kid? Uh, he's up there. Cool. So, that's north, so it's going to be in this bush up here. The bush straight north from the Koopa. No? The hint moons don't vibrate. Hold on. Let's look at the album. Is it a specific spot near the bush? It's There's two bushes. Oh, it's these two over here. Must be. Right? Or there's three, but... No? Huh. Maybe we're not exactly north. Okay, let's go to the free-running Koopa. And then walk straight north from there. Alright, free-running Koopa. North. This is north. So we're gonna keep on this path. And there must be two bushes somewhere. I don't know how far it's going to expect us to go. Those are three bushes in it. I'm sure it would show the pillar if that was what was in the hint. Oh my god. No, we're like near the end. Uh, I don't want to go in there yet. There's no... Is it these two bushes? Oh my god, did it really expect you to go all that way? It did, holy moly. And that's from Wooded Kingdom. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay. Oh, while we're up here, gotta remember to do that free running... I should have done the free running Koopa while I was there. But uh, while we're up here, let's do that pipe that's like right over here. Simple, quick stuff. Then we'll probably call it for this episode because we still have a ton of moons to go. In fact, I believe we have exactly 40 uh, from the time that we started. Okay, hold on. There we go. No, it's been a while since we've seen this guy. Uh, is that water down there? Sure. Kill that guy. Okay. Simple enough so far. Oh, it doesn't reach him! Why do mine not reach him? That's silly. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Looking for secrets, because, like, you know, two moons. Wait, what? Holy moly. All right, we missed one. It must have been, like, earlier on a little secret. Okay. I'm not sure if we can, like, get back from here, but we'll try it. Yeah, we can go down from here. Okay. Come on, dude. Boop. All right. Must be, like, up here. Here we go. We're not going to make it. Oh, gosh. We made it. Easy every time. Uh, and since there's not really an easier way out... Boop. Just get out of here through that. We don't have to get to the end to get out, do we? We better not. Yeah, we're good. Also, apparently it's cold in here. Mario's shivering. It was called Freezing Waterway, I guess. No, oh, yeah, I guess anything underground here is meant to be freezing. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. In the next episode, hopefully we'll cover the rest of Toasterina. Though it might be hard because we have a lot of stars to go. Uh, I'm probably going to end up using some hints. We never know. Really. Do you have some interesting stuff? Oh, all these people? Oh, they all want the ice cream. Gotcha. Okay, well, see you all in the next episode when we finished up Toasterina, probably. See you all then, and goodbye.